Hey everyone, Zephyr here, and welcome back to The Sims 2. Today we are doing something a little different. It's not a speed build, but it's kind of a speed build. It's like a speed build of making Sims for my Sims 2 Build the City Challenge. I don't know if that makes any sense. I sped up footage of me making Sims in Body Shop, and I'm showing it to you. Now you might be noticing my Sim looks kind of off right now, and there's a reason for that. Like, there's a method to my madness here. I'm actually making Sims using the Pooklet method, which is basically a way that uh, randomizes your sim space uh, in order to create unique sims. I don't want to get too much into how to do it or like the process of, you know, using the Pooklet method, and there's two reasons as to why. First of all, there's countless guides available that will explain it better than I can. I even made a tutorial about it on TikTok before. The second reason is because the creator of the Pooklet method has a Tumblr post uh, stating that they don't want the Pooklet method to be monetized. And like this video is not monetized. My TikTok video is not monetized because it like, I live in Canada, and I don't get any money from my TikTok. So, like, I I'm not making a profit off of this, but I don't want people to think I am. So, um, yeah, it's it's a whole thing. So, I'm not going to make a tutorial about it, but there's definitely resources out there for you to check out and figure it out yourself. But anyway, these are going to be actual playable sims in my neighborhood. I have names for them and everything, and, um... I'm not sure if I want to, like, introduce you guys to them in this video. Like, I think I kind of want to, like, maybe explain their personalities in my Build the City Challenge Let's Play. But I still think it's fun to watch the Sims come together. And you could probably take a little guess about what their personalities will be like uh, based off how I dress them and, you know, how they present themselves. But yeah, if you're new to my channel, I have a Build a City Challenge Let's Play that I've been running for a couple months now. The city is called Plum Bob, and it's just really starting to expand right now. I'm finally allowing my Sims to get loans, so, like, businesses are gonna start popping up, and, like, new Sims are arriving in town, so I think it's a really good time to get into the Let's Play, so if you're interested in that, it'll be linked down below. And the town recently had a really big tragedy happen, which I think makes for, uh, entertaining viewing, so if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Now, I've been dying to tell the story in this speed build for a little bit now. I just, I haven't had a uh, speed build go up where I could talk about it. And I know people are going to judge me for this, but can you just, like, have an open mind for, like, five minutes, okay? Just, like, have an open mind. We'll vibe. I, I acknowledge it's funny. Like, you don't have to tell me it's funny or that I'm like crazy. I, I, I know. Now, I spend a lot of time on TikTok. I mean, I have like 28,000 followers on there. Like, it's perfectly reasonable for me to spend a lot of time on TikTok, but uh, doing so has led me to interesting sides of TikTok. And one of these interesting sides is uh, Shift talk. If you don't know what shift talk is, it's basically a side of TikTok where people talk about reality shifting. Okay, stick with me. Stick with me, okay? So these people believe they can, like, take their consciousness and go to different realities, like, f different fictional worlds or, like, real worlds. Like, they believe in the multiverse theory where, like, every reality, like, exists. You just gotta, like, transport your mind there and you could be there or whatever like and I don't follow any shift talk creators but for whatever reason they just live rent free on my for you page and that's probably because like when there's story times I like sit there like I and I watch them because I find them fascinating now I have a private twitter account where my avatar is Fox Mulder, okay? Like, I'm literally willing to believe anything. I want to believe in things like this, okay? So th that's my mindset. Anyway, a couple weeks ago, I found myself in a lucid dream. In my dreams, even when they're lucid or stupid, I watch a lot of WWE or wrestling in general, and, like, in my dream, I was outside of a stadium, and, like, a bunch of wrestlers were, like, surrounding me, and I was like, oh, oh, cool, I'm uh, about to go see a wrestling show. I don't know why the wrestlers would be outside with me, but, but they were. But, like, in the dream, I'm obviously aware that I'm dreaming, and I'm like, hey, why don't I give reality shifting a try, right? So, in the dream, I'm, like, walking up to the stadium doors, and I know, like, a method people supposedly use is to create a portal portal so they could like go to their desired reality and like okay I may or may not have a uh shifting script in my phone 
I'll, I'll let that sink in for a little bit because uh, I, I know, I know. I feel like you should have one just in case. You, you, you never know. Anyway, so I make the portal out of the, like, stadium entrance door. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna walk on through this thing, right? So I walk on through it. And then, like, I'm not even kidding. I am instantly transported to this, like, random room. I'll, and, like, I think at that point I kind of, like, lose the lucidity of my dream. I I don't know where I'm at. Where I'm, at. I'm, like, in bed with this random man, right? And, like, he turns over, takes out a knife, and literally stabs me. And I, I feel the knife, like, go through my back. And then I just, like, instantly wake up and I swear I feel, like, pain in my back. Like, I, I don't even know what that experience was. It was just my dreams being dreams and, like, me being, like, a little bit, um, crazy. But I, I just, I just wanted to tell that story. I thought it was funny. I, I was just having fun. It's not, like, a serious thing. Um, it, it's just, uh, sometimes you should believe in things that are fun. It, it's not harming anyone, right? By the way, I'm leaning on the side that it doesn't exist and people are kind of like lucid dreaming, like the whole shifting experience, but it's still something that um, fascinates me. Anyway, I don't want to give you guys time to truly process that, so we're going to change the subject a little and talk about the sim I'm making in this video. She's an alien. Um, I'm kind of like hyper fixated on aliens too at the moment. Uh, mainly because they supposedly found alien bodies uh, down in Mexico, right? And, like, I've seen footage of these things, and they're not real. Like, the man literally picks up the alien like a um, sandwich. Or, like, if you had your phone, like, lying flat on the surface and you went to pick up, he, he literally, like, grabs the alien like that. They're, like, small little things the size of, like, maybe, like, a coke bottle if you truly thought you were handling an alien body you would not be handling it like that but anyway yeah i, I have aliens on the brain so i made the sim but anyway that was kind of like a wild voiceover but that's what you get when you watch me if you guys like the video please give it a like subscribe if you want to see more and like i said definitely check out the build a city challenge link down below because i'm having a lot of fun with it but thank you all for watching and i'll talk to you guys next time bye guys